Hi, this is Tag again and today I got a viewer suggested video for you. Uh, I was requested multiple times to do a guide on how to set up Copyvasa for 775 and just a SuperPy OS in general basically. So this is uh, barebone.net's uh, wanted OS. I will leave a link in the description. It's a uh, a Cronus image should be, yes. It's not Macrum, I think. It should be a Cronus. Uh, and this is what you basically get when you uh, make the drive. So the idea behind this is that basically you copy this here to your ERAM folder and then it would run a uh, copy vaza for you in this batch file and open SuperPy. But there is a couple issues here that make it not work. Uh, what did I want to do? New task explorer. Maybe I should switch to GPU. This one seems to be artifacting. Now, if we look at this, it's pretty obvious why it doesn't work. Because we request to copy something to a D drive, which we don't have. Now this XP is uh, stripped down to a point where it doesn't have uh, disk management. So we need to boot up another system and let me quickly do that. And while I'm at it, I'm also going to put in a GPU that does an artifact. Okay, so this should be your normal Windows XP with all the services enabled. Let's open disk management and this is our uh, drive with the wanted OS. Let's make a new partition. Primary yes. Uh, about 10 gigs you can probably get away with 5 as well. It's 10 gig, yep. Now do we have D as a selection? No we don't. Yeah, whatever G it is. So now let's wait for this to format. Okay. Shut it down again. And we should have our second partition. Okay, so here we are back in the original OS. So we should have our second drive. There we go, volume D. And... No, I don't want to delete it, I want to edit it. Oh, right. Uh -huh. So it should have its D drive now that it's asking for. Uh, this little wahaha.exe I'm also going to leave a link to in the description. I don't think it does much. I think it's mostly overclocker superstition, but whatever. If you want to use it uh, and the batch file calls for it, that's a that's something I'm going to leave you in the description as well. Okay, now it should copy, actually copy something now. Uh, that's a directory. See, it said one file copied now. It wasn't instant now. I don't like this way of doing it. So let me show you what I do. We have explore here. Now there is just a page file in here, uh, 128 max. I like to use multiple individual smaller files. So let's let's delete this. And I guess we have to also delete it in here. Okay. Now I connected my little bench stick. Should show up any second now. There we go. And tools, CPU, OCX, there we go. Now this is the OCX Superbyte Wicker. Uh, also going to leave it in the description, but you can find it online pretty easy, I think. 
So let's put it here. But this is usually something you can just use for Vaza on its own, but I, I prefer the batch file because it's easier to run than having to open a separate uh, separate program. Now what I usually use here is about 640 uh, megabytes total size for 1M and about double that for 32M. And there is something else. Let's quickly get CPU Z on here. Uh, to CPU uh, CPU Z, where are you? Here, two six. Now what I usually like to do is uh, setting my individual file size to half the cache size per core or half the cache size in total if you're running both cores enabled. Uh, you can also try double the cache size. Uh, so this is really mostly preference. Same with the total size. So actually, let's let's do uh, 1280 for now, and I guess half the cache size per core would be indeed 512k. So 1280. We don't need this timer because we are not using the program itself to run Vasa. We just run it to create the file. So let's clean and let's run. Now this is just doing one copy now and. It should leave behind the files. So if we go Explorer now, and in our Vasa directory, we have a bunch of subfolders, each of which is sized at 135 megabytes. That seems fine. So let's close our CPU Z and click on Run again. Okay. Now it takes significantly longer because it's copying a bunch of small files and also copying. Uh, well, well, a bit over a gigabyte each time. So this is going to take a bit. Okay, there we are. Now, Alt-C is the shortcut for just running. I'm not going to do 32M because we are at a stock on some random Pentium here. But I'm going to do 1M. You want to wait a while for it to finish. And basically what Vasa does, it, it is... Uh, it frees up more of your uh, system memory. So in, actually, you know what? I probably too late already, but in, in task manager, you can usually see it ticking up. Let's see if we can still see it. Yeah, it's still ticking up. You can see available memory going up slowly. Now you want to wait. If you're monitoring it, you want to wait until it's finished ticking up. Uh, I don't really do that, I just wait a reasonable amount of time after running the Vasa and then, then I start uh, 32 m So I think it's about done. Yeah, it seems to be. So, I don't know, a couple seconds, whatever that was. And now just close this obviously if you don't have task manager which I wouldn't recommend you opening it in between it might might affect performance I don't know uh, you can just run your browser and it should be faster in this case no idea it's it's a stock Pentium but what you want to keep a look at is the number available real memory up there here and yeah it, it should be higher than if you don't run Vasa, then you know it, it works really. That's the thing. So let's open our task manager again. Now that's that's why I like the batch file because it also uh, it also terminates Explorer and also sets uh, our SuperPy here to real time priority. So no fiddling around with task manager and stuff like that. Again, the this Vaha Exe, if you want to run it, goes in the 
to ERAM folder, which you have to drag to this memory. This is just a RAM disk program, really. Just drag it uh, in there each start. I, I like to also put PyFast in there. So let's grab Benchstick, uh, Benches, CPU, X, PyFast, yes. In the two ERAM folder, there we go. Now let's remove this one, put the new one in here and send our real time to desktop. Very nice. Uh, properties, that's a PyFast tweak unrelated to the other stuff, but you want to run PyFast full screen. There we go. And there we go. Now it runs full screen. And to get out of full screen, you press Alt and Enter and you have your window back. So yeah, that's about it for my little Vasa and uh, Wanted OS setup. It should be really easy if you just use the uh, Acronis image setup. It's it's like as it was at the start of the video and then just, you just need a, a second OS to create your, your D drive and, and then you're basically fine. So yeah, that's about it, bye.